Do you have a dog that loves to shoe on everything? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips to prevent your dog destructive behavior. And make sure to stay until the end because I'm going to give you a golden tip. Coming up. And this is my dog Finn and the one behind me I don't know if you can see but it's Bruce and they both rescue dog my vision is actually to help the owners uh, educate and train their dogs so they have perfect dogs and so to avoid so many dogs being brought in shelter because as you can imagine I work with rescue rescue association and it really really breaks my heart to see so many dogs beautiful dogs just like Finn end up in shelter uh, so today we're going to talk about a very common dog problem. A lot of dog owners contact me with this problem. It's dog shoeing. Now the first thing is that you need to be aware that there are two types of dog shoeing. The first one is the one in a puppy, a very young dog, up to six months. Um, he will be mouthing and teasing and nipping and that's absolutely a normal behavior. Uh, but it's not going to be the subject of this video, it will be the subject of another video. But today we're going to talk about the dog shooing, like destructive behavior of a young or adult dog. And it usually happens because they're bored. But to prevent that, I'm going to give you a few tips. And here is the first one. Now the first tip, very easy, common sense really, uh, is to make your house dog proof. What does that mean? It means that you have to limit uh, your dog to certain rooms and uh, put away the thing that you really, the, those precious things that you really, really attach to and that are uh, have a lot of value for you, well, put them away. So it will solve a lot of problems. Like for example, uh, I, my dogs don't have access to my sitting room because there's a beautiful couch there that they already started showing. Uh, so they don't have access to that room uh, if I'm not in the room, so without supervision. Another thing, Bruce, this guy, is a tall guy and he loves to go on the countertop of my kitchen. So basically, I really have to tidy and not leave anything there because I know he will go. So that's just common sense, but tidy your house and make it dog proof. Now, the second thing, introduce your dog to things that it's actually okay to shoe. And there are a lot of different things. Bruce, he saw the toys and especially the treats as well. So these toys, like for example, this one is a really good one, like a dog uh, plastic toy and it's, uh, it's flavored as well. And it does la last a long time, you want it? Okay, my all-time favorite is a Kong because it's really, really strong and it's really, really great. He wants it as well. They all want it. You can also have ropes. You know, there's a lot of different uh, type of, um, um, of toys there and with different textures and flavors, which is great because it keeps your uh, dog distracted. And there's also, and that's what Bruce was after, natural treats like chicken feet and also those are my dog's favorite coves they love it and as you can see and it lasts a very very long time come on Bruce I give it to you and they last a very very long time so if you make your dog interested in that and tell him that's what you can shoot he will be happy I can promise you that Now the third thing actually is to redirect. What does that mean? It means if you actually catch your dog shooing on something that he shouldn't be shooing on because you don't want him to shoe on that precious stuff that you really attach to and that has a lot of value to you, then you redirect, redirect his attention to a toy or a treat as I just talked about. And by the way, I'm going to put uh, the link in the description uh, for those products so you actually can find them online and you can buy them as well. Thanks for the poor fin. What is it for? And so what do you do actually when you catch your dog shooing on something that you don't want him to shoe on? Well, you first tell him that it's not right. And how do you do that? You use a marker like no or aha. So he knows, okay, this, I did something wrong there. No, it's okay, if it, not you. 
And then what do you do? You would direct his attention to what it's actually okay to shoe, like a toy or the treat that I mentioned before. And uh, if your dog is happy to shoe on them, you reward him because it's very important because he will understand, okay, I did something wrong, but then she asked me to do that and that she was happy with. So you can give him a biscuit or a kibble or whatever. If it's obviously a treat that you're giving him to shoe on, you don't need to reward him. It's just a, if it's a case of the toy that you're giving him to shoe on, then you can reward him. And what if he doesn't? What if he doesn't want to shoe that toy and he keeps shooing on that thing that you really don't want him to shoe in, to shoe on? Well, then you uh, put him in timeout, just like kids, yeah. Five, a few seconds, you know, you can isolate him or just not look at him and he will be like, oh, well, that's not fun. She's not interacting with me. So you have to start introducing timeout to your dog as well when he does something wrong. Yeah, it's just like kids. Now the next step is if actually you need to leave your dog home alone while you're away. Well, in that case, you really need to mix everything I just said. So basically, you need to leave your dog only in rooms that it's okay to leave him in and that he cannot shoe on those things that you really, really don't want him to shoe on. And then you need to leave him with, uh, <laughs> with toys. And what I do when I leave them for, if you leave them for a long time, you really need to make sure that those toys and treats are actually safe and last for a long time. So my all time favorite is a comb. And I told you I had a golden tip. What I do with those, I put biscuit on, I put them in. What I do as well, I put some paste and I will put all the all the links of those products in the description so you can easily find them and buy them and they're absolutely crazy about it and what i do i put that in the freezer and then when i go away i get it out of the freezer and it does la la last a long time because it's frozen and it will keep your dog occupied a long time and as you can see the dog is okay <laughs> sorry that happens that's how crazy they are no hey there you go and another tip that i can give you as well when you leave your dog home alone for a long time is to actually leave the radio on it kind of uh makes them you know calmer to hear a human voice so that's what i do as well now it's very important for your dog to have mental and physical stimulation so if your dog's uh, stay on his own at home, he will likely be bored. So make sure to give him all he needs when you come back or before you go away. So basically, dogs need what? They need obviously sleep and food, but they also need exercise, play, and interaction, and care, and affection. And so make sure if you leave your dog home alone for a long time, that when you get back, you give him all that. And that was it for today. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you all also see my other video. And I will see you in next week's video. And please, in the meantime, stay safe. Bye-bye.